Hello everybody, welcome back to more Bloodborne New Game Plus, and as you can see we're picking up basically where I left off last time, just towards the end of this twat dying, because it takes an awful long time to get him to the point where he's about to die. He has way too much HP. This should be it here, hopefully. Fuck you. Oh, you're not dead. <laughs> okay, now you're dead. Ah, I won last time, but I won again. What do you drop? Ooh, what's that? Blood Rapture. Uh, wrong menu. This menu. Blood Rapture. There it is. Visceral attacks restore 300 HP. Pretty nice. Burned through all my poison knives I bought incidentally and most of my ammo. Anyway, let's see what Aline says now that I've done that. Don't you ever listen to your elders? No. No matter. You did save my life. I don't seem to be apt for this life anymore. My glory days were long ago now. Hmm. I know. Here. For you. What are you giving me? A boat hunter's mark and hunter. So that's the covenant mark. But it bears no honour. A burden you may choose to carry. The decision is yours alone. Oh. My eyes grow heavy. Let me rest a while. I'll be fine. Just wait. Oh, does she die either way? Because that sounds like she's making it sound like she's okay, but she's actually going to die. That's a shame. So she gave me the uh, the Covenant that hunts hunters, but what is the passive bonus for that? Stamina recovery speed up. That's pretty good, but I like getting more HP back from my health files, because even that isn't really enough. And there's no other way that I know of to increase the amount of vials you get back. So we'll try risking running back. He didn't give me anything at all. Oh, I ran too far, didn't I? Yes, I did. It's not often that I do this run from this side. He gave 30k echoes. It's garbage. <laughs> they forgot to up his amount for New Game Plus, I guess. Unless his difficulty stays static. That'd be scary. Now sadly, I need to restore my health vials before I do this next bit, although that said, I've only got 30,000 on me, it wouldn't matter if I died per se. Yeah, okay, let's just try it. So we want to go this way, and this is to use the Upper Cathedral Ward key. Now I'm going to have to kill some guys on the way, sadly. But it's a good place to get bullets if you need them. Health vials as well, but more so bullets. See? Let's stay on... Old Hunter's Bone. I love that they can shoot basically exactly down. Uh, I hit the guy through the wall. <laughs> yeah, him. I'd be angry too, because I'm not a boss. I shouldn't be able to do that. You're just going to stand there, really. There we are. There is a guy shooting in there, that's why I'm not going fully in, in case you're curious. Now we are, though. Okay. They've actually been a little bit stingy on the drops, to be honest. Alright, we're going to the very top. Ignore him, go for the gun guy. Should be a big guy turning the corner any second now. Any second now? Come on. I usually have this exactly timed correctly. Where's the big guy? Is he stuck? So why do they not know I'm there anymore? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, it's weird for those guys to be totally neutral again. Are you not hearing me running around in here or something? 
I should have just ran past. Right, you know I'm here, right? You're staring at me through the wall, so I assume you do. And I assume they'll have heard the gun go off. You turned? Yeah, you are. Oh, but then you lost again. Ow. It's a good job you take so long to reload that because it does ridiculous damage. Also, enjoy the fall. Right, a couple more guys and then we're at the door, which on my blind playthrough I found, but it was entirely inaccessible. Because the key is hidden in the Unseen Village for reasons that are not known to me. You dead? No, you had just enough HP, that's annoying. I did not realise he actually did a second swing back. Oh well. Alright, so, another optional area. If you didn't see how I got this key, check out the part prior to this one. Now, there's a little bit of a roadblock here. There's also these slug things, they don't really do much. If they hit you, I believe they increase your frenzy. I can't quite remember now. I did kill you, right? Yeah, they also don't give many echoes, so they're basically not worth killing. So as I was saying, yeah, as you try and cross the bridge to actually get into the Upper Cathedral Ward, two of those you know, pale white guys come across the bridge towards you. They are ridiculously powerful for some reason. I don't fully understand it myself. They are much stronger than any of the other ones. Oh, you can't old, uh, use Old Hunter's Bone when you're like this. So I'm going to opt for the run past them strategy because they do too much damage. They're the only two of these guys in this area. And there's a lamp right after them. But they just they do too much damage. It's ridiculous. So, we have the lamp anyway. They're very slowly giving chase, but that's not going to matter. I have to go back to refill my blood vials though. So what's the point of the Upper Cathedral Ward? There's two bosses. Killing one of them will give you... Well, actually, you have to kill them both to get to the far end of this place. If you do that, you have the means by which to revive the Vile Blood Queen. So that's one reason to do it. I don't know if it's a good reason. It's a pretty short area. It's very small, but you kind of have to go through round long ways of opening up shortcuts. There's a ton of overpowered werewolves. There's a ton of tanky squid guys who like to grab you and steal your insight. Although, on that subject, I don't really want the insight, so... Take it for anything. Some of these because I used them, I guess. There. And blood vials. Well, we've got... Yeah, let's do bullets. There we go. So it's a dangerous area. It's very tough, I think. It's also very dark, annoyingly. Now, let's see. Where do we want? Where? Which menu does bloody upper cathedral ward appear in? It's this one, right? Yes. I will do my best to maybe at least get to the first boss now. I'll try and remember where to go, but as I say, it's very dark on my screen more so than yours. And I only did it once. You can also find the make contact gesture, which is like an aliens reference. Not aliens the film, but just an aliens in general. You make contact by doing one of those semaphore things. Load's taking a little while, actually. There we are. So those guys will be still walking across the bridge there. As long as you don't move immediately when you spawn, or if you do move, keep moving, they won't come back. So the first checkpoint we want is to open up that gate in front of us. And to get there, we have to go this way. Ignore the slug guys. They're not worth killing. They're very, very numerous, and they just get under your feet. We do, however, have to deal with this scythe man. I actually forgot he was here. <laughs> we both have scythes. We're both best... Friend, oh, why did you have to stop and do that? Although, as it turns out, it's fine. I still reached you. I think my scythe might be better than yours. Oh, let's not put that to the test. Oh, come on. Come out the door. Come come out the door, though. No. <sighs> Very lucky. Okay. Are those slug things following me? No, they're not. You can get him on the fire, by the way, and he will just slowly burn to death. So as I say, there's tons of those squid guys. There's one right there. They all wear hoods and are generally irritating. 
because they just grab you and I hate the grab animation because it takes forever and they spam it. Oh yeah, that's where you get the choir set. So bear with me, I'm going to need my torch out for a little bit here so I can actually see what the hell I'm doing. Is there any squid guys out here? I believe not. If you run to the end of that hole there to get that item, a werewolf will break through the window and you have to fight it. You will come back via that way later anyway, so I'll do that then. This is the way we want to go first of all, and there is a squid guy in here, and can I remember where he is? No. Oh wait, no. Maybe not yet. What does happen though is a bunch of werewolves drop out the ceiling and take out that chandelier. As far as I'm aware, there's no way to avoid that happening. So let's just trigger it. They just spawn, actually. Did you see that? They just appear. Anyway, what we want to do here is lure them to this door. Why this door, you ask? They can't fit through it. So this is how you kill them. Is it tacky? Yeah. My rebuttal to that would be try and fight them straight up. All three at the same time because they won't leave you alone. And see how you do. That's, that's what I've got to say on that. They do more damage than the standard ones, incidentally, even though they have blue eyes, not red eyes. So they do even more damage than the ones that get buffed up by the screamers in Old Jarnum. Now, one of them at the back is actually stuck on something. I think. Again, it's hard for me to see because of the TV I have. I really do need to get a newer TV. This is quite an old one, even though it's pretty good. But yeah, it makes everything overly dark. Now, I've definitely only killed two, right? Right? Or did I kill three? Look for the glowing blue eyes. Those are easy to see, is that? Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey there, buddy. You are hiding. You are actually doing a fantastic job of hiding. I was not sure you were there until I saw your eyes coming round the corner. This is the only bit where you can really do this, other than that you're just fighting squids. But it's just, yeah, those three, I think there might even be a fourth werewolf down there, I can't quite remember. They're just awful. And they don't even drop anything good. Is there a squid guy here? I could have sworn there was. Ah, uh, maybe it's when you come back through this way. Also, I missed an item. Oh good, more... Bloodstone shards, I really need those. I'm fairly certain. Hang on, let me turn closer to the monitor. By which I mean the TV. There is an enemy down here, I just can't remember if it's a werewolf or a squid guy. Can't see a damn thing. Alright, let's just go down there and have a look then. Oh, enemies! Tasty, tasty hunter here. It's on one of the sides, but I can't remember which. Just run. Best way to trigger enemies, make a lot of noise. I'm going to clear this room first before I go into side uh, passageways, rather, because I can't remember which is the right one. Right, there's no one on this side, apparently, because they would have aggroed by now. Ritual Blood is a Chalice Dungeon item, I believe. We don't get in here. Uh, yeah, I was going to say yet, yeah, but I can't remember if I ever got in that door, actually. Ah, oh, it's another werewolf. There he is, right there. Alright, well, we do the same thing with him. Chase me, chase me! You are chasing me, right? No, oh, there you are there. Now you're following me. I can't see a damn thing. This way. Don't you be backing up. There we go. Let's have that pretty face of yours cut open. This is the last werewolf. So don't worry. We'll speed up a little bit after this. It's just I don't like fighting them straight up. They, they just bug the hell out of me because of their damage. And this is on new game I'm talking about. Kinda of scared about what they're doing this day, of course. 
Okay, now we play the game of me trying to remember where the hell I go. And we could end this part with a boss fight if I'm fast enough. Do I go this way or do I go to the far side? There's definitely at least one squid guy in this passageway, I remember that for a fact. Because the thing at the end of the hallway is a trap. Where are you? Oh wait, you're running towards me? Died in one hit. Strange. Also, thank you for the chunks, though. I can hear him. There he is. Yeah, okay. So now, I have to try and fight him. Eh, you can see through the wall. I should have enough stamina to just spam, actually. No, no, not gonna have enough. Almost! Now. I believe I definitely have to kill a certain one of these to get the item I require. The key. Not that one. I love that this area is designed to make you wonder what's alive and what's not. It's actually very clever. Do I go up the ladder yet? I want to say I do. Okay. I want to say I do though. Well, you go up from this side. <clears throat> Sneaky. Oh, I can't see anything until I have the torch out. I hear slugs, but I eh, rather, you know, whatever the hell they are, but I don't see them. Well, there's one at the end of the hallway there, slowly coming this way. Oh, is that the way I want up there, though? Huh. I want to see that there's two of them through there. So I should probably fight the single one first. I don't even know if I can stun them. What I can do is not that. That actually wasn't what I wanted to do. Come in the door. Alright, we'll call that a draw then, shall we? Oh, I am not doing a lot of damage to you, am I? I was better off just spamming the single hits. Yeah? Now what? You did not lose aggro. He lost aggro. Alright, oh, he's the one who attacks you in the arse if you go up there straight away. Right, I don't think I ever went in this corridor over here. Which begs the question, do I want There's a lot of items, but I'm suspicious of that. Blindfold cap. Yeah, I never found that. Okay. Oh, is this the other door? Ah, this is the shortcut I never knew how to open. Right. Now I don't need to worry if I die, I don't have to fight the werewolves again. I can just run across here. I will have to kill that slug guy again. But that's okay. As I say, this next room, I'm fairly certain I had two, although maybe I was thinking of this guy attacking me in the ass. Oh, he's right there. So yeah, was that the guy who attacked me in the ass? I want to say yes, and I want to try and... Oh, wait. Far end of the hole there. There's another one. Can I quickly use this without you alerting? I want to get the backstab on him before I get attacked. Just because it'll make the fight a little bit easier. Because he's going to see this fight, right? Yeah, I killed him. Excellent. Yeah, I see you down there. Are you going to let me open this? Apparently yes. Good. There's no enemies out here from what I recall, but there is the statue that teaches you the make contact gesture by examining it. Oh, sorry, is, is that a body? I thought it was a mannequin. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, then. As far as I'm aware, there's nothing else out here. There might be, like, a cold blood. Doesn't seem like it. So you just get the gesture here. I have no idea why. It's fun. Oh. Oh, he saw me alright. He's the one who I think drops the key. He's also guarding the other shortcut that I know of. Do a spell. Actually, wait a second. Alright, you know what? Just keep on walking into this banister. Yeah, that's not going to work. So what are you going to try now? Are you... Are you doing stuff? Or... Oh, 
Well, you heard that at least, because you turned back. How many of those are you going to try and do? Now, let's try some old Tauntalus. Oh, let's not! And see, we did. <laughs> Suddenly, you just realized hang on a minute, I can actually walk up to this person. Orphanage key, that's the one I wanted. And this is the other shortcut that I'm not going to go through, but that's the item at the end of the hall that I said if you go to, you trigger a werewolf. But that's another shortcut open, so that's fantastic. Now we play the fun game of me trying to remember where the hell you go next. Oh, the key unlocks the door downstairs. I think that was it. I sure hope I'm right about that. Which was back this way. And if I am right, that will open up an even shorter shortcut by opening up the main gate. This one here. Excellent. Does this open where I thought it did? Yep, there's the gate and the switch to open it is in here. And my phone is ringing again, Jesus. I'm choosing to ignore it, unless my mobile goes, in which case that possibly is important. I'll just make sure I put it on silent, make sure I haven't missed the call. I have not. Right, so we have shortcuts opened. I'm actually wanting to know what's in the passageway I missed, because I don't think I actually explored it on my blind playthrough either, because I forgot it was here, assuming there is actually a passageway here. Hello, Maya. Are you here to mooch? Oh, yes, you are, because it's half an hour until you get fed, so of course you're mooching. Uh, well, there's a squid guy, very clearly. He's kind of wandering off. Squid guy. Oh, squid guy. Is there another one? I'm waiting for that to happen. Turned a corner. Oh, and then he turned back. Oh, that's going to get me from there. I actually thought I had a limited range. You are so dead. Even if you kill me, I'll still come back and kill you. It's going to be a thing that happens. I don't even want my insight, so that's irrelevant. Although, the hitting me before I could stand up thing, that's some bullshit. Um, well, that's going to kill me if he gets me. Can I shake my way out of it? That's why I don't like fighting then, it's awful. Even if it doesn't kill me, it will kill me when I try and stand up because it'll hit me. Dog, get away from there. Out, go on, no mooching time yet. Oh, but that means running past the bloody werewolves. I'm still going to do it, I want to kill him. Although I could quickly go now try and fight the boss, the first boss. I don't know, we'll give it one go, because I opened the gate, so it's literally just around the corner. The werewolves would probably not be able to fit in the passageway if I had to guess anyway. So I might as well. I had like a hundred, hundred grand echoes, didn't I? So let's try and get them back. It, whoa, 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 what the hell? Alright, apparently I entered the room too quickly because the walls were spawning. Oh, you can actually just grab me through my attacks. Interesting. I actually thought you just had to spam that shitty spell of yours to do that. Also, oh, the werewolves are behind me. Really? See, this is bad design. <laughs> this is bad design right here. That will kill me again. Oh, apparently won't unless he you know, does the spell again. I can't move until he fully stands up. Come here, you little shit. This is gonna kill him. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Terrible enemy design. Alright, what were you guarding? Probably another one, right? Wait, there was just another way in? Oh, God. I've used up two health files, but I suppose I can just go and try and kill the boss without... Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. So this boss is the Celestial Emissary. I think I'm saying that right. It's these guys. Except there's one special one that will make my monster grow when he's almost dead. Scythe for sweeping hits is probably the best bet here. 
to be honest, Old Hunter's Bone isn't going to be useful here, I don't think. Well, actually, I'm not really familiar with what he does when he's almost dead, so maybe it will be. He is that one or the one that's slightly further away. He's the one that's slightly further away. You can tell which one it is because he's passive. He, well, in this form, he's passive. He likes to hang back. This is him here. Yeah. So once you do enough damage, he will grow, and then once you do enough damage again, he turns into one of those turret ones. Get out of my way. That might be enough to make him grow now. Uh, no. And he just he keeps on spawning the ones you kill in, so you can earn yourself a little breather, but he's going to keep on populating the room. I love that you hit back your own little baby there. Now he is no longer passive. Now he wants to kill your face. Now in this form, I think I'll still get away with... Oh no, I won't! I actually thought he would get stumbled. I was going to say in his final form, I bet he won't. Speaking of which, he's actually in that now. You're not doing enough claw attacks. Do a few more claw attacks. Oh, I didn't actually see that guy. I should probably try and get the health back. Oh, you buffed them! I didn't actually know you did that. Basically, we're just trading hits, so I'm just hoping that I have enough health vials to kill him before he kills me. And I do. Yeah, it's a bit of a joke boss. He has a gimmick, and it's a pretty easy gimmick to figure out, but he's interesting. And entirely optional. So that was the Celestial Emissary, and it makes it look like that that's all there is in this room. However, if you come over here, there's actually more to see and do down there. This is above the Vicar Amelia room. But we'll have a look at that next time. But the boss that's beyond here, very unlikely I'm actually going to kill it. I will show it on camera. I've got a video on my channel of me killing it as this character in New Game, but I don't want to see the Daughter of the Cosmos in New Game+. Plus. <laughs> anyway, we're going to end there. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and we might make more actual progress next time. I'm not sure. Until then, ta-ta for now.